Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell with The Pig Site, and today we're here with Dr. Rick Swalla. He is a technical services veterinarian with Zoetis. Thanks for being with us today, Rick. Thanks for having me, Sarah. Very good. Uh, let's talk a little bit about PCV2 and the swine herd. Fostera PCV MH is approved now to be used in the sow herd. Uh, we found problems where people would have PCV <laughs> leaking out of the sow farm and causing downstream production problems. And so when they do that, they need to come in and use a, a vaccine to vaccinate the sows to bring the immunity up within the sow herd. So we would be the only vaccine that has that label that, that is allowed to be used in the sow farm. Very good. And, and PCV2 is, a, is an ongoing issue, right? It is an ongoing issue and the genotypes continue to change. So we've updated the vaccine by adding the PCV2B genotype to the PCV2A mm -hmm. genotype that we had in there previously. We have both genotypes in there today and we're the only vaccine that have both genotypes in there today. But today, right now, PCV2D is the, the most prevalent that we pick up uh, in, in clinical cases. And, and PCV2 is is constantly evolving. It's it's not like uh, it's not necessarily like PERS, but it's still an, an evolving disease, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> At one time, PCV2A was the main genotype, and then we had PCV2B, and now now PCV2D is a, is the main genotype. But we have other genotypes E and F as well. So uh, it, it continues to evolve and continues to change. And how important then is it for a um, I guess for a producer to know? exactly what strain they have. Is that important? Uh, it can be. It can be. But like I said, PCV2D is, is the one that we find most commonly today. Mm -hmm. But that, that could change tomorrow. So we, we continue to keep up with what strains are out there and we continue to track that. Very good. And and, and if, if a producer is, is experiencing a, a PCV2 outbreak or disease on their farm, what does it look like? In the south farm, uh, typically you, you can see increased abortions. Uh, you can see more stillborns. Um, and then in grow finish, we tend to see weight loss. Uh, you can see a PDNS, which is porcine dermatitis and nephropathy syndrome, um, all of those things. It, it can cause a lot of different problems. Right, and, and as you were kind of going through that, we hear a lot of those kind of symptoms or, or uh, things that you see with other diseases. So how do you know kind of your level of, of PCV2 uh, in the herd? That's a great question, and you need to have really in-depth diagnostics. So we like to, uh, excuse me, we like to be able to find the PCV2 in the, in the lesions, so they do an immunohistochemistry or an IHC test to find that, and that's kind of the gold standard as, as, as whether PCV2 is the, is the main cause, but quite often it is in there with other diseases as well. Very good, and I assume some of these larger operations are just doing consistent, uh, or continuous maybe is the right word, um, monitoring of disease, right? So they kind of are trying to keep, it, keep track of what those diseases are. Right, right. A lot of systems have a surveillance uh, system put into place where they're continual, continually looking at what, what genotype is, is the problem in their farms. Rick, but what you were saying before is, is that um, of the, the three most predominant strains, I guess, the A, B, and D, with D being the most predominant right now, um, the product that, that Zoetis has uh, will really will give some protection against that. That is correct, Sarah. We have data to show that we protect against PCV2A, PCV2B, and PCV2D. Very good. Well, thank you so much for all the information today, Rick. Thanks for having me. This is Sarah Mike Solt with the Pig Site.